Hello, Sula here from stheilltops.com. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm working on a traveler's notebook layout that I titled Herbs, and I'm using the digital scrapbooking version of the collection Home Again from Cartabella. Um, I'm starting with a bunch of paper strips that um, go in all kind of directions and um, um, need to be layered the right way and um, need to be spaced out in the right way. So this is actually a little more of a complicated one. Um, I did plan it out in uh, Silhouette Studio, which is the software. It's a free software that I use to create my um, pages for the digital, when I use digital products like um, a digital version of these um, collections that are otherwise available as um, as just normal paper collections, obviously, but um, in this case, I am um, using the digital version, and so obviously things need to be prepared for print and then so that I can cut them out. So here is one that actually has lots of tags, but I decided rather than using the individual tags, I will just use the, um, the whole pattern paper as a pattern. And um, this, the photos are all about herbs and, um, in, in their different ways and uh, this um, collection home again was just perfect for it because it does have herbs and all this in um, the pattern paper and papers and the embellishments that come with it so here I have to really pay also attention to the um, to the spacing of um, the papers so that there will be um, this right kind of um, distance between any of the papers and all that so um, I have to pay attention to how I align things and with the photos, how I want things aligned there. I shouldn't forget that that little circle goes in the background. So that's one of the things I have to pay high attention um, to with this page that everything really um, goes on the right layer uh, where it should be. Then here again, I am looking at where the photos should be. So how far should I um, glue that um, striped paper? Um, so that you can still see the stri stripes and all that so because I obviously want the patterns to still be visible on my pages so now I am ready I have um, kept an eye but I'm using the photo as a guideline there so that there will be a little bit of that wood pattern paper or wood grain paper visible at the bottom and then a bit of the um, striped paper at the top so that's what um, the, the look that i'm going for and then there's this big strip of paper that just goes across um, this um, the just the entire spread there and so um, that finally finishes all the um, background paper then i have these little flags that i will put in the corner up there um, just to give it a little extra something on the page so it's not all in just one big cluster and then um, so these are the these just came with the collection and all I had to do is just um, 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 resize them to the size that I wanted them to be um, as I pulled them I just pulled them into the silhouette studio software so and then resize everything before I place it on the page where I think it would look good the nice thing about doing it that way is I already can see exactly what my page will look like before pr actually putting it together. And that tells me if um, the patterns work together, if there will be enough contrast between the various patterns and all that. So I really enjoy working with digital products. It's much easier for me than working with actual paper product products, but I do have actual paper pro um, products as well that I have been using in the past and I will continue using. So here I am deciding where all the embellishments will go. Some of them are just coming with the collection. They're included with the collection. Others um, like that um, herb pot, pot full of herbs that I just um, stamped, fussy cut, and then used my colored pencil to just um, color in a sim similar color, uh, color pattern. Uh, or shade that is being used on the page there. So then I have the, all these um, word strips. These ones I just printed out specifically for this page because I'm running out of the, this is a, a page um, that I'm um, for an album that I'm creating for my mom. So it should be all in German. And so I am running out of options with um, um, the German 
um, garden word strips that I shared a while back uh, as freebie on my blog. They're still available. Everything that I've shared in the past is still available as freebie. So there is an ever-growing collection of freebie um, um, products um, that are available on my blog, mustyhilltops.com. So anyway, I was running out of these um, German version words, and so I just decided to use up whatever empty space on my print pages um, with um, adding these little word bits there. And so they're not made um, from the thick cardstock that I usually use for my word strips. They're just from the same kind of cardstock on which I print my um, pattern papers and all that for my pages. Here I'm realizing in hindsight I was um, leaving a gap and uh, then I glued it in the wrong way, but who cares. But um, so all I need to do is finish off this page and uh, then I just um, have this title there as well. And it's a little small, but um, I just stamped it and it says herbs. And then finally, all I have to do is to cut apart the two pages. For that, I flip the page around so that I can use the back side there with the lines to, um, to cut everything apart. And this is a little more difficult with the photo that needs to be cut through, but now it's all done. Anyways, this, this is my page done. I'm going to leave you with some more close-ups. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Consider subscribing, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.